I believe in a policy of truth. I also believe in accepting people as they are. Even if there's things that I might find deplorable, I still generally accept people as they are. And well, the past 24 hours I lost I lost a good friend, not not through death, but they uh, they want nothing to do with me. And uh, that's because they refuse to accept me as I am, but the whole time I've accepted them for what they are. And uh, you know, we live in a culture of lies. To me, there's really no getting around that. You know, compare the way we live in this country and in a lot of other industrialized countries to places where, like villages where they live in straw huts. There's no need to lie in those kind of cultures. You know, if you say you're going to do something, then you do it. If you say you, if you feel a certain way and you say it, well, that's how you feel. Um, there's just, there's no need to lie in those kind of cultures. But in this culture, in the way we live, the way businesses are, the way someone's job has to be most of the time, um, just so many other things, we feel that we have to lie just in order to survive. I have always rebelled against that. I just, I don't believe in lying. I just don't believe in it. You know, there's only one kind of thing where I will withhold truth from someone, and that's when the only thing that it would achieve, I mean, there's no other possibility where the only thing that it will achieve is pain and suffering. There's no need to say something like that if that's all it's going to do. So, Anyway, this friend of mine would freak out over the fact that I would actually come up to people that I know are probably straight and come up to them and say, hey dude, I know you're probably straight, but I think you're gorgeous and I, I don't want to stare at you and not tell you why, you know? I think it's a lot more creepy and more mess. I think it's messed up to just stare at someone or make it look like you're not staring at someone and just sort of visually stalk people. I think it's wrong to, personally, this is my view, people can do what they want. It's not like I'm going to report someone or anything, but I think it's wrong to secretly take pictures of people and then put them on your hard drive. I think it's wrong to video, make, they make videos of someone and they don't know that that's what you're doing. They don't even have any idea you're, you're filming them at all. Yeah, I think that's wrong. If you notice, I, I never film, you never see me filming people unless I'm in a specific place and you can tell that they know that I'm filming them. There are certain courtesies that I just feel are the only right thing to do. This friend of mine thinks that <laughs> he thinks that even it's like stalking people is okay. As long as you're not actually you know, uh, 
I don't know. I don't know really what how how that works. But uh, you know, someone who has tons and tons of pictures of people that don't even know they're they're being filmed or taking pictures of. You know, I don't say anything about that. Someone can show me those kinds of pictures. You know, I'll still try to be positive to them because I just know that's their thing. But I don't believe in that. I believe in being upfront and honest with people. If there's someone that, you know, I see that, I, I'm, I, I realize that I'm looking at them and it's not because I'm interested in them, but it's just because they make me think about something. And I can tell that they knew that I was looking at them. I'll, I'll later come up to them and say, hey, I'm sorry, it looked like I was staring. You were reminding me of, of a situation I was in one time, or you reminded me of a friend, you know. That sort of thing, I guess, this person who, this friend that wants nothing to do with me anymore, that just kind of goes against his whole thing. He believes very strongly in that whole, the whole business thing too, where businesses can do whatever the heck they want. And, uh, well, it's their business. You don't have a right to tell a business that uh, you think what they're doing is crap. I can't wrap my mind around that, but that's the way some people operate. I just don't believe in being secretive. I don't. I don't believe in that. How is that a good thing? You know? And besides my whole thing where I will sometimes have panic when I've been in the workplace where I lose my speech center and I can't even function, um, one of the things that's probably been made it difficult for me to keep work is the fact that I I just don't believe in being secretive. I don't believe in lying. I don't believe in <laughs> telling some customer something that's bullshit. Um, I just don't. I, I, you know, I'm the salesman that say, that I'll be saying, well, you know, I'm required to say this and this and this, but I feel this, this and this. You know, employers don't like me in that regard. You know. Um, I'm the person that will. We'll let the, I'll let the customer know what the company's intentions are. And that's not, that's not wanted. <laughs> Employees don't want that at all. Um, but I don't know how else to be. I mean, I, I know what I should, I'm supposed to be doing, but, you know, it's, it's lying. It's lying. So these... These areas of me being blunt about things that most people wouldn't even, I mean, they're just, they're, most people are just like, I could never tell the person this. Well, I'm the person that would say it. There are things that I, because of my philosophies, I have the courage to say to people and the courage to do that most people couldn't dream of. But then there's things that most people just sort of take for granted and just think of as second nature that I'm just like panicked about. You know, I... My policy of truth. And it's gotten me into trouble so many times. And over the past 24 hours, it's lost me a friend. Someone I cared very dearly about. As I said before, I accept people as they are. I'm not going to try to change someone. If, if someone has the philosophies they have, that's what they're like. That's what they are. Who am I to argue with their philosophies? It's stupid. It's stupid for me to try to change someone like that. That's stupid. You know, it should be life experience that changes them. It should be some situation that happens to them that changes them in that regard. You know? Now, if they ask me, how I feel about a certain thing that they do, well, yeah, I'm going to be honest about that. Of course. 
Of course I'm going to be honest about that. <laughs> but unfortunately, that, that can hurt people too. I'm the person that if you, you, you ask, Does this, do these pants make my butt look big? And I'll say, yeah. But I think it looks great. <laughs> you know? Um, I'm also the person that if someone really asks me about like a song or something, a song they wrote. Unfortunately, I'm the person to just give them the, my honest opinion about it. You know, I'll try to say the things that I do think are good about it, but I will say if I there's most of it I think is crap. I, sorry, I'll say it. Um, I just. I refused to be a part of a culture of lies. I refuse that. I absolutely refuse that. I've lost friends because I tell them that, you know, I have a prejudice against something. And I'm supposed to shut up about it. I'm supposed to lie about it. I don't. I don't. I'm not supposed to say that I have a problem with, for instance, like, I mean, like this, this latest, this one of those, the video about me being 86, you know, I'm supposed to stay quiet about the fact that I find asshole, queenie behavior really fucking irritating. They, they get, people that act that act like that get on my fucking nerves. But you know, my candor, my way of carrying myself, makes a lot of people uncomfortable. I'm too intense for a lot of people. Way too intense. There's lots of people that won't watch my videos because they're like, man, it, it makes me crawl, makes my skin crawl. It it's, it makes me so uncomfortable. It makes you know, all this stuff, whatever. I'm an intense person. I'm emotionally honest. I'm emotionally available. But I'm also someone that when, I, when I'm shown that I'm wrong in something, I admit it right away. When some people try to tell me that I am intellectually dishonest about something, I, I try to get them to tell me where, where, where am I dishonest, where is it? And then when they show me, I go, oh shit, I didn't realize I was doing that. I can't see everything about myself. I can't see everything about myself. <laughs> I see a lot. I see more than, <laughs> than anyone. I see more about myself than anyone else is going to, but there's sometimes things that someone might notice that I don't. <sighs> I don't know, it's just, it's just weird. I know there's going to be other times where I'm going to lose friends over this stuff. I know it's going to happen. But I'm not going to turn off my passion. I refuse to turn off my passion. Because it's not just negative things that I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about positive things. Really passionate. I'm passionate when I love someone. I'm very passionate about it. When there's something that I like, I'm really passionate about it. Why should we lose that? Just because society says we're supposed to lose that. And some people can think someone's being fake because they're being passionate. And that, that's the part that just really gets me. Oh, you're just being over the top. And I'm just like... I'm just being passionate. What's wrong with being passionate? I see nothing wrong with being passionate. I think being passionate is a virtue. I think it's a plus. I think it's a good thing. I wish more people were passionate. I wish more people cared about things. 
I wish more people put thoughts, more thoughts and emotion into things that, that are around them. So yeah, some people are going to find me way too intense. Another friend of mine recently said, you know, maybe, you know, therapy would probably help me in some ways. You know what? Everyone could use some therapy in some way about something about themselves. Yes, I'm sure I could use some therapy. I'm sure I could use some therapy. Especially with dealing with things like my, when I was raped for, for a year when I was eight, you know? <laughs> I could use some therapy. But this idea that I should tone down my personality? No, fuck that. Fuck that. I am who I am. And if you don't like me, that's your problem. You don't have to watch my videos. You don't have to hang out with me. But the one thing you'll find about me is I take a policy of truth all the way down the line. If that makes you uncomfortable, that's your problem. <laughs>